Pasig, officially the city of Pasig, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Pasig, or simply known as Pasig City, is a first-class highly urbanized city in Metro Manila, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 755,300 people, located along the eastern border of Metro Manila. Pasig is bordered on the west by Quezon City and Mandaluyong, to the north by Marikina, to the south by Makati, the municipality of Pateros, and Taguig, and to the east by the municipalities of Cainta and Taytay in the province of Rizal. The city shares its name with the Pasig River which runs through it and forms its southwestern and southeastern borders with Makati and Taguig respectively, while the Marikina River forms its western border with Quezon City. The artificial Mongahan floodway, built in 1986, begins at its confluence with the Marikina River in its northeast. A formerly rural settlement, Pasig is primarily residential and industrial, but has been becoming increasingly commercial in recent years, particularly after the construction of the Ortigas Center Business District in its west. The city is home to the Roman Catholic Diocese of Pasig, based in Pasig Cathedral, a landmark built around the same time as the town's foundation in 1573. Pasig was formerly part of Rizal Province before the formation of Metro Manila, the national capital region of the country. The seat of government of Rizal was hosted in Pasig at the old Rizal provincial capital until a new capital was opened in Antipolo, within Rizal's jurisdiction in 2009. However it remains the de jure, or official capital of the province. Etymology the city's name Pasig was believed to have come from the old Sanskrit word Pasega or sand, which refers to the tribal community beside the sandy edges of the river. Some historians believe that El Pasig came from Legazpi. Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, the Basque explorer well known for being involved in the Sandagon, and was the first governor general of the Spanish East Indies. It was pronounced Mapoxic, by the pre-Hispanic Chinese inhabitants of Binondo, Manila. Mabagsic, is Tagalog for terrifying, depicting the river's raging current during the typhoon season, causing massive floods on nearby towns and villages, destroying wide hectares of farmland, and even bringing huge amounts of logs and water lilies from Marikina River, Laguna de Bay, and San Juan River towards colonial Manila. Mapoxic, later became Pawsic and was then changed to what is now Pasig. It may have also come from the Tagalog word Dalampasigan, which means riverbank. According to José Villa Panganaban, the former director of the Institute of National Language, Pasig is another ancient Sanskrit word meaning a waterway coming from one body of water to another which briefly describes the river because its flow starts from Laguna de Bay, leading to Manila Bay. History Early history There are no surviving first-hand accounts of the history of Pasig before Spanish colonizers arrived in 1573 and established the settlement which they called the Ciudad Municipal de Pasig. However, surviving genealogical records and folk histories speak of a thriving indigenous community, Barangay, on the banks of the Bitacang Manic River, now nearly extinct, and known as Parian Creek, which eventually became modern-day Pasig. The greatest rulers of this pre-colonial polity are named Raja Lantak and Diang Kalanjitan by the legends, which also say that they are closely related to the pre-colonial rulers of Tondo and Manila. The creek was given the name Bitakang Manak, Tagalog for chicken gut, due to the serpentine shape of its waterway. Among its early dwellers were ethnic Malays, the Chinese from southern China with their origins dating back from the Ming dynasty, and the indigenous Tinguan nomads who migrated from the deep jungles of the Sierra Madre mountain range. The Bitakang Manic was once a principal tributary of the Marikina River. The Spanish colonizers called the creek, Rio de Pasig. However, the natives still referred to it as the Bitakang Manic. The first stretch of the Bitakang Manic became known as the Perianchillo, Estero de San Agustin, where its shoreline was once settled by Chinese and Malay merchants to trade their goods with the natives, until it developed up to the 1970s as the city's main public market. 
Likewise, the creek contributed enormously to the economic growth of Pasig during the Spanish colonial era, through irrigation of its wide paddy fields, and by being the progressive center of barter trade. The Bitacang Manic, also known as the Parian Creek, had once linked the Marikina River with the Antipolo River. Before the Mongahan floodway was built in 1986, the Parian Creek was actually connected to the Sepang Bato Buli Creek, which serves as the boundary between Pasig's barangays de la Paz Mongahan Rosario Sta. Lucia and the municipality of Cainta, the Casibulan Creek, situated at Vista Verde, Brgy. San Isidro, Cainta, the Palanas Creek, leaving Antipolo through Brgy. Muntingalao, the Bula Creek, on Brgy. Mambungan, besides the Valley Golf and Country Club, and the Hinalagong Tokic Falls of Brgy. De La Paz, fed by the Tokic Creek passing close to the Antipolo Town Square, thus being the detached and long-abandoned Antipolo River. Colonial period since the early 1600s up to the period of Japanese imperialism, over a thousand Catholic devotees coming from Minilat, Manila, Hacienda Pineda, Pase, San Juan del Monte, Hacienda de Mandaloyan, Mandaluyong, Hacienda Marikina, Marikina, Barrio Pateros, Pueblo de Taguig, Taguig, and San Pedro de Makati. Makati followed the trail of the Parian Creek to the pilgrimage cathedral on the mountainous pueblo of Antipolo, Morong, the present-day Rizal province. The Antipolanos and several locals from the far-reached barrios of Poblacion de San Mateo, Montalban, Rodriguez, Monte de Tan Hai, Tanay, Santa Rosa Oroqueta, Teresa, and Punta Ibeo. Baras, had also navigated this freshwater creek once to go down to the vast Kapatagan rice plains of lowland Pasig. Even the Marian processions of the Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage passed this route back and forth eleven times. The creek has been also used during the British occupation of Manila in 1762 to 1764 by the Royal British Army under the leadership of General William Draper and Vice Admiral Sir Samuel Cornish, first baronet, to transport their red troops and also the sepoys they they brought from East India upstream to take over the nearby forest surrounded villages of Cainta and Tete. They even did an ambush at the Plaza Central, in front of the Pasig Cathedral, and turned the Roman Catholic parish into their military headquarters, with the church's fortress like Campania Belfry, serving as a watchtower against Spanish defenders sailing from the walled city of Intramuros via the Pasig River. The sepoys backstabbed their abusive British lieutenants and sided with the combined forces of the Spanish conquistadors assigned by the Governor-General Simón de Anda y Salazar, local rice farmers, fisherfolk, and even Chinese traders. After the British invasion, the sepoys remained and intermarried with Filipina women, and that explains the Hindu features of some of today's citizens of Pasig, especially Cainta and Tete. In 1742, an Augustinian friar named Fray Domingo Diaz, together with a group of wealthy mestizos de Sangli, Chinese mestizos from Sagad, ordered a construction of a marble, roof-tiled cover bridge across the creek in the style of an oriental pagoda. It was named Puente del Perianchillo, and a few years later, it changed to Puente de Fray Felix Trio. Dedicated to the dynamic parochial curate of the Immaculate Conception Parish. Edmund Roberts visited Pasig in 1832. On the night of May 2, 1896, more than 300 revolutionary Katipuneros, led by the Supremo Gat. Andres Bonifacio, Emilio Jacinto, and Pio Valenzuela, secretly gained access in this very creek aboard a fleet of 17 Boncas canoes to the old residence of a notable Valentin Cruz at Brgy. San Nicolas, and formed the Assemblea Magna mass meeting. Three months later on Saturday evening, 29 August, about less than 2,000 working-class Pasigueños, along with a hundred Chinese trabajadores, 
Laborers from the failed Sangli revolts of 1639 and throughout the 17th century, armed with coconuts, machetes and bayoneted muskets, some were donated by the rich Ilustrado families, while many of those guns were looted from Spanish authorities, joined the Katipunan and made a surprise attack at the Municipio del Gobernador Silo, the current site of the Pasig City Hall, and its adjacent garrison of the Guardias Civil. Civil Guard, situated near the border of Barangays Maybunga and Caniogan. That was the first and victorious rebellion ever accomplished by the Katipunan, and that particular event was popularly known as the Nagsabado Sa Pasig, the Saturday Uprising on Pasig. After they had managed to successfully outthrown the seat of Spanish government on Pasig, the Katipuneros fled immediately and advanced towards a sitio located at the neighboring Ciudad de San Juan, called Pinaglabanan, and there they launched their second attempt to end the numerous cases of corruption made by the greedy Castilian Incomenderos, town officials, and Hacienderos, landlords, which shall be commemorated as the Battle of San Juan del Monte. On June 11, 1901, during the Philippine–American War, the province of Rizal was created through Act No. 137 of the Philippine Commission. Pasig was incorporated into the province of Rizal, and was designated as the capital of the new province. In 1975, Pasig was carved out of Rizal Province and became part of Metro Manila when the Metro Manila Commission, precursor of Metro Manila Authority and later Metropolitan Manila Development Authority, was created by Prez. Ferdinand Marcos through Presidential Decree 824. After World War II After World War II, the Bitacang Manic was slowly exposing its ecological downfall. It resulted in water pollution due to rational ignorance. The worst came to the Bitacang Manic in the late 1960s when the disappearing waterway, instead of being revived was totally separated from the Marikina River, and was converted into an open sewage ditch, with its original flow now moving in reverse towards the direction of the Napandan Channel, a portion of the Pasig River bordering between the barangays Kalawan Panagbahatan and Taguig, to give way to public commercial facilities. In July 1994, Pasig was converted into a highly urbanized city through Republic Act 7829. And in December 1994, President Fidel V. Ramos signed it into law, which was ratified through a plebiscite on January 21, 1995. On February 4, 2006, the Ultra Stampede, in which 71 people died, happened during the first anniversary celebration of ABS-CBN's noontime show Wowwowie, because of the prizes that were to be given away. The anniversary of the show would be held on Philsports Arena but the event has been already cancelled due to the tragedy. Pasig was one of the areas struck by the high flood created by Typhoon Ondoy on September 26, 2009, which affected the Ortigas Avenue and the east city side of the Mongahan floodway. It is the most destructive flood in Philippine history. Pasig is accessed by the Pasig River, wherein the waters of Marikina River channeled and the Mongahan floodway routed to Laguna de Bay. In the first week of August 2012, intense monsoon rain caused the 2012 Philippines flooding, which affected again Pasig and particularly the National Capital Region NCR, Calabarzon and the southwest part of Luzon. The non-stop eight-day monsoon rain, strengthened by Typhoon Jenner, caused the Marikina River to overflow and destroyed the same places that were ruined by Typhoon Ondoy in 2009. Barangays. Pasig is politically subdivided into 30 barangays. Its barangays are grouped into two districts for city council representation purposes. The first district encompasses the southern and western sections of the city, while the second district encompasses the northern and eastern sections. Among these barangays, 27 are located on the northern side or right bank of the Pasig River while three, Buting, San Joaquin and Calawan, are located on the river's southern side or left bank. Demographics Population growth of Pasig has consistently been higher than the regional average. Thus, the percentage share of Pasig in the total population of Metro Manila has significantly increased. 
Its share has grown from less than 3% in 1960 to 4.5% in 1980 and then to almost 6% in 2015. Pasig's population is projected to reach 1 million between the 2025 and 2030 census years. Religion the Roman Catholic Diocese of Pasig was established in 2003 by Pope John Paul II as the Diocese of the Catholic Church in the Philippines, with the Immaculate Conception Parish Pasig Cathedral as the seat. Pasig is the headquarters of the Presbyterian Church of the Philippines. Economy 19th century Historically, Pasig produced rice, fruit and sugarcane. Today The western part of the city is where most of Pasig's financial resources are primarily concentrated. It includes numerous factories, warehouses, establishments and commercial facilities. Primarily they situated in the Ortigas Center, Pasig proper and along E. Rodriguez Jr. Avenue C5, and Ortigas Avenue. Real estate and commercial developments along Mercedes Avenue and other areas near the city center are developing. The eastern part was mostly dominated with residential areas but numerous commercial establishments are now developing along Marcos Highway. Per capita income GDP, of Pasig is $12,032 per year. The Barangay of San Antonio has the largest income in Pasig, second only to San Lorenzo of Makati as the largest single-income generated government unit in the Philippines. In the arguably more significant western part of Pasig, east of the city of Mandaluyong and as part of the Barangay of San Antonio, lies the Ortigas Center. The Ortigas Center is one of the top business districts in the country. Numerous high-rise office buildings, residential condominiums, commercial establishments, schools and malls are situated here. The University of Asia and the Pacific is located here. The head office of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines was also established here. The headquarters of the Philippine Stock Exchange, which is also home to one of trading floors of the country, is located along ADB Avenue. The headquarters of San Miguel Corporation, owner of one of the largest producer of beer in Asia, is located along San Miguel Avenue. Situated along Ortigas Avenue lies the Crown Plaza, a five-star hotel near Robinson's Galleria. Notable along Ortigas Avenue and E. Rodriguez Jr. Avenue, C5, lies Frontera Verde, a newly privately owned development area which includes restaurants, pet shops, mall, park, village, office buildings and a small zoo. The shopping complex Tiendezitas was located here, a one-spot hub that can rival the world-renowned Chattachak Market of Bangkok, Thailand. El Pueblo, a colonial-themed commercial complex in Ortigas Center, provides new concept of cafes, restaurants and bars. Metrowalk, formerly Payanig, a commercial hub along Ortigas Avenue and Maralca Avenue, was established in 2005 near Ortigas Center which comprises shops, depot warehouses, stalls, restaurants and bars. As of 2012, the revenue of the city totaled 7.22 billion pesos. Education Rizal High School RHS, is located in Pasig. Named after the Philippine national hero Jose Rizal, it is one of the world's largest secondary education by student population. Formerly hailed in the Guinness World Records as the largest school by overall enrolled students, it is now surpassed by the City Montessori School CMS, in Lucknow, India. Pamantasan ng Lungsad ng Pasig, a local university in Kapasigan, offers degree courses for poor, bright and deserving residents of Pasig. It is established under the mayoralty of Vicente C. Eusebio in 1999. Pasig City Science High School PCSHS, is the first science high school in Pasig recognized by the Department of Education for Bright Students of the City. It is located near Rainforest, a fully restored public resort and amusement park. Sacred Heart Academy of Pasig is the first school that offers a fusion of progressive and traditional system of education. It is one of the first private schools that was given the authority to accept and process foreign students by the Bureau of Immigration. The Sacred Heart Academy school system started offering quality Christian education in 1947. 
The University of Asia and the Pacific UANP, in Ortigas Center traces back to the Center for Research and Communication CRC, which started by two Harvard graduates in 1967 as an economic and social think tank institution. Its spiritual and doctrinal formation is entrusted to Opus Dei. Along C. Raimundo Avenue lies the national headquarters of Parents for Education Foundation, Inc. which runs schools such as PAREF Southridge School, PAREF Woodrose School, PAREF Northfield School, PAREF Rosehill School, and seven other schools. St. Paul College, Pasig was near the Philippine Institute of Sports Complex, ULTRA. It was established in 1970 as one of the educational institutions administered by the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Paul of Chartres. The Pasig branch of Arellano University, Andres Bonifacio Campus, located in Caniogan also provides intermediate, secondary and vocational courses. The main branch is located in Manila. Pasig Catholic College PCC, is a private sectarian college located at the heart of Pasig. Established in 1913 as a small school managed by the CICM Fathers headed by Fr. Pierre Cornelis de Brouwer at the present Immaculate Conception Cathedral of Pasig, it is considered as the city's center of Catholic educational institution of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Pasig. Situated at Mercedes Avenue lies La Consolación College Pasig. Founded by the Augustinian Sisters of Our Lady of Consolación, it is one of the sister schools of La Consolación College, Manila. At the heart of city proper, lies Colegio del Buen Consejo, CBC. It is one of the oldest school in Pasig and one of the educational institutions promulgated by the Roman Catholic Diocese of Pasig. La Immaculada Concepción School, LICS, was situated in the outskirt of E. Carancho Avenue near the Pasig's municipal capital. It provides preschool, primary and secondary educations. St. Gabriel International School in Sandoval Avenue is the sister school of the Chinese-based Manila Shaman International School. It provides Mandarin Chinese classes and ESL education for local and foreign students. MFI Foundation Inc. Formerly Maralca Foundation Institute was located near the Ortigas Center along Ortigas Avenue. It is established in 1983 to serve and meet the industry. S demand for middle-level technical manpower. As a partner of Philippine government. S Institution of the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, Philippines, or TESDA, it provided two main programs in the Industrial Technician Program, ITP, which targets the youth and the technical training and MFI training, formerly testing program for skilled workers and professionals. Domuscola International School DIS, is located in Barangay Yugong and offers the International Baccalaureate PYP program for elementary students. Established in 2000 as a preschool under the name Second Mom, it has expanded to primary and secondary education. The school is in partnership with the Dow Corporation and as of 2015, became a candidate school of the IB Diploma program. Victory Christian International School BCIS, is located in Barangay Oranbo and is located near Ortigas. Sports Philsports Complex or the Philippine Institute of Sports Complex formerly Ultra, is a notable national sports complex of the Philippines. Located in Maralca Avenue, it is where the offices of the Philippine Sports Commission, Philippine Olympic Committee and some national sports associations are. Pasig will host some matches at the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup at the Philsports Arena. Transportation Road Network Pasig is accessed by the following major roads Ortigas Avenue East, Rodriguez Avenue Jr., C5 Pasig Boulevard Julia Vargas Avenue Shaw Boulevard Maralca Avenue Pioneer Street Marcos Highway Amang Rodriguez Avenue Water Transportation Pasig is the location of the east end of Pasig River. It is accessed by Pasig River Ferry Service with seven stations named after the barangays of the city beside the river. These are the following 
Pineda San Joaquin Bombang Kalawan Panagbahadan Maybunga Nagpayong Bridges Pasig is accessed by Pasig River and Marikina River. The city has only 10 bridges. C5 Bridge spans Pasig River. Manalo Bridge spans Marikina River. Rosario Bridge spans Marikina River. Sandoval Bridge spans Marikina River. Santa Rosa de Lima Bridge spans Marikina River. Julia Vargas Bridge parallel bridges spans Marikina River. Bombang Bridge spans Napandan Channel. Napandan Bridge spans Napandan Channel. Kalawan Bridge spans Pasig River. Ortigas Bridge spans Mongahan Floodway. Mongahan Bridge, Don Pasig Bridge spans Mongahan Floodway. FB Legaspi Bridge spans Mongahan Floodway. Buting Sumalang Bridge spans Pasig River. Railway. This city is also served by Santolan Station of LRT2 along Marcos Highway located in Pasig Marikina boundary where the depot is also located. Long before the Manila Light Rail Transit System finally opened its services in Santolan in the Pasig Marikina border in the early 2000s, steam train services had once served those places in the past, even before World War II. In Marikina, there is a street named Dangbakal, also called by the names of Shu Avenue Extension, Munding Avenue, and Bagong Salang. There is also a similar Dangbakal, in the San Mateo Montalban Rodriguez area, and on the maps one can notice that the two roads should have been connected with each other. In fact, as the name suggests in Tagalog, these streets were once a single railway line. The two sides of the Dangbakal roads were once connected by a bridge in the San Mateo Marikina border. However, as the railroad tracks have been largely ignored after the Japanese CC occupation and was transformed into separate highways, the railway connection was abandoned. The old railroad tracks, called the Marikina Line, was connected from Tutuban Station in Manila, passing through Tramo, Brgy. Rosario, Pasig, coming all the way to the town of Marikina up to Montalban. On the northern end of the Dangbakal Road in Monteblan is a basketball court. That basketball court which stands today, surrounded by the Montalban Catholic Church and Cemetery, was once the railway station terminus of that particular line. The present-day Santo Niño Elementary School in Marikina was said to be a train depot. And also it was said that a railroad station once stood in the Marikina City Sports Park. The Marikina line was completed in 1906, and continued its operation until 1936. It was said that the Imperial Japanese Army made use of this railway line during the Second World War. These railways were dismantled during the 1960s and were converted into ordinary roads. Today, the citizens are dependent on tricycles, jeepneys, taxis, FX, buses, and AUVs which contribute to the everyday unusual and unbearable traffic of metropolitan Manila. Even now, there is uncertainty in the Northrail project, which links Manila to the northern provinces of Luzon, because of corruption within the project's construction. Aside from the Marikina line, two other railways have existed before but are now removed permanently. First is the Cavite line, which passed through Paco, Parañaque, Bacor and up to Naic, Cavite. Completed in 1908, its operation continued until 1936. Second is the Antipolo Line, which passed through Santa Mesa, Mandaluyong, Pasig, Cainta, Taytay, up to Antipolo near the Hinalagong Toktik Falls. There is also a street named Dangbakal in Antipolo, where like the Dangbakal roads on Marikina and San Mateo, a railway line once existed. The railroad tracks also passed through what is now the Ortigas Avenue extension. 
Its operation ceased in 1917. Local government List of mayors List of vice mayors Emiliano Santos (1956–1972). No vice mayor during martial law. Vicente P. Eusebio (1980–1986). Boy Reyes (1986–1988) appointed vice mayor during revolutionary government. Mike Caden (1988–1992). Francisco S. de Guzman (1992–1995), Lorna Bernardo (1995–2004), Rosalio D. Martires (2004–2013), Christian I. Y. O. Carancho Bernardo (2013–present). City Seal. The woman represents the mutia ng pasig, the idealism of perfection in all aspects that epitomizes loyalty, goodwill and splendor of the city of Pasig. The body of water on both sides of the woman is a suggestion of the Pasig River connecting two bodies of water, Laguna de Bay and Manila Bay both suggested by waves. Pasig is derived from a Hindu word meaning a body of water connecting two bodies of water. On the lower left portion is the Immaculate Conception Cathedral, one of the oldest edifices in the city. It is also the seat of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Pasig. On the lower right portion, it manifests prosperity and progress of the city. Notable people Ely Bundia, lead vocalist for the Eraserheads. Sister cities Local Marikina, Metro Manila International Marigami, Kagawa, Japan, South San Francisco, California, United States. See also Legislative District of Pasig City, Roman Catholic Diocese of Pasig, Pasig City Museum Candaba, Pampanga, a place where there is a barangay named Pasig. Balabac, Palawan, a place where there is a barangay named Pasig. Lambunao, Iloilo, a place where there is a barangay named Pasig. Sara, Iloilo, a place where there is a barangay named Pasig. References External links Official website Geographic data related to Pasig at OpenStreetMap